Hey, City Life kids. I was just putting my treasure in my treasure chest. Not all treasure is silver and gold. I hope you treasure your family. Family is a gift from God. I hope you treasure your Bible. The Bible is the best tool to help you get through life. So you see that treasure isn't just the things that we have, although it may be for some. Some people may treasure clothes and looking good. They have to wear really expensive shoes or jewelry. Some people may treasure their phone. They spend all their time on it. Some people may treasure sports. They talk about sports, they watch sports, they may play sports, but it becomes the center of their lives. It shapes who they are. Jesus teaches us in today's Bible story that where our treasure is, is where our heart will be also. That means what we spend our time on, our money on, or think on the most is what we love most. And it will change our behavior. So what should we treasure? God. And he reveals himself through his word, the Bible. So let's show with our actions today that we treasure God's word by spending time in it, learning it. And we can start by reviewing our memory verse. Ready? First Chronicles 29, 11. Thine, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all. First Chronicles 29, 11. Our God really is an awesome God. This verse tells of God's greatness, power, glory, and majesty. All of creation is His. In today's Bible story, Jesus reminds us that God takes care of His creation, such as birds. He teaches us that if He takes care of them, would He not take care of us? Let's find out what Jesus taught in Matthew chapter 6. Great crowds of people followed Jesus wherever He went. One day, Jesus went up on a mountain. He sat down and began to teach. Jesus said, When you give to people who are poor, give in secret. When you pray, don't pray so that people will hear you. Jesus taught the people how to pray and gave them this example. Our Father in heaven, your name is holy. Your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Yours is the kingdom, power and glory forever. Amen. Jesus continued teaching and said, forgive others. If you forgive those who sin against you, God will forgive you too. But if you don't forgive them, God will not forgive you. Jesus said, Do not collect treasures on earth which can be destroyed or stolen. Collect treasures in heaven instead. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Jesus also taught that God provides for his people. Don't worry about your life or what you will eat or drink or wear. Look at the birds. They don't plant or gather food into barns, yet God feeds them. Aren't you worth more than birds? Seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness first. Then the rest will be given to you. Jesus taught many things about how people in his kingdom should live. When he finished teaching, the crowds were amazed because he taught them like someone who had authority. Jesus taught people what it means to follow him. He taught people how we should interact with God and others. Believers live to honor God, not to earn God's favor because they already have it. 
He taught us that we should live humbly. Jesus told us not to collect treasures here on earth, but instead to collect treasure in heaven. That means we shouldn't live for this short life on earth, but for our eternal life in heaven. We don't have to worry about our needs because He takes care of us and provides for us. We should seek God with our whole hearts because He cares for us. Let's make God our biggest treasure.